which is very, very nice. I really like this machine, if I haven't told you that already. Yeah. So as far as the exterior of this guy goes, it does include the nice white uh, Gorilla Glass on the outside. It still tilts all the way back. Gorilla Glass. And it doesn't flex, too. It doesn't flex a whole lot, but you can still tilt it back wow. and be able to lay it down and share the touch screen with somebody if you needed to. I haven't needed to do that at all, but I did find it's really nice if I ever need to sit this down on my lap. And for example, if I'm slouching over or something, it's very nice to be able to bend it as far back as I need it to go. That's really nice. It is IPS screen, so no matter which way that you tilt it, you can see it very well. Ta-da! How, how does the hinges feel? Is it pretty The solid? hinges are really sturdy, so I did read up on it a little bit. They used um, this crazy scientific information to be able to build this mechanism in it. So it doesn't bend. You're not, you aren't going to feel that it's flexing a whole lot when you're touching it. If I sit, sit it down on a solid surface, it's not going to bend all over the place and shake. and It's mm -hmm. not even going to tilt over because uh, it's pretty evenly uh, weighted on both sides, both on the keyboard side and on the screen side, which is really nice. And I also found that I really like the keyboard and the trackpad on this. So the keyboard, they changed it a little bit from the old version. On this one, it gives you a little bit more spacing. So whenever you're, you know, hitting everything down on there, whenever you're trying to type things in, you get a little bit more feedback. They moved it from, I think, one millimeter to 1.3 millimeters of feedback. So you get plenty of bounce back whenever you're typing on it. And it's also spaced out pretty well, so I don't find myself hitting the wrong keys all the time. Of course, I do have smaller hands, so got to keep that in mind. And it is... Uh, backlit, so oh, I don't nice. have any problems with that. It's auto backlit, which um, there was one time when I was sitting in my living room and I had a problem with it actually registering to cut on the auto backlighting technology in it, but otherwise it was not a big issue. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> so you can barely see it. You can see it with the Windows button down at the bottom, but it does backlight, and I can also have the, uh, I have the power to not only backlight it up as high as I need it to go, I can also lower it so that it completely blacks out. Okay, so, so you can adjust the brightness in this? Yeah, thing. I can adjust the brightness, and that's a really useful uh, option in here. The screen isn't too blurry. It's not going to glare at all whenever I'm, well, unless I'm sitting outside, which <laughs> I did like once. And of course, you're going to have that problem in the sunlight. But otherwise, it's, it's a fine screen. It's one of my favorite screens as far as laptops go on the market right now. And the weight of this, how much do you think it weighs? Oh, God. I want to say half a pound. Half a pound? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here, hold it. <laughs> it's a little bit more than half a pound. Wow. You know, I've been interested in looking at this thing. This thing is really... Yeah. <laughs> it's it's about 2.8 pounds, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the fact so it weighs the, the just a little bit more. <laughs> is very, I mean, it just gives pounds. you that perception that it's very light. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. It. it does. It's very light. It's very skinny. When I close it all the way, it's <sighs> tiny. It's less than an inch right. thick. So no problems there. Uh, the ports on this included, there's a couple of USB 3.0s. There's an SD slot. There is an HDMI and a Display Port. Uh, I, I believe it's Thunderbolt on here, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It might be Thunderbolt. There's also, of course, the the regular one for your headset right there. Now, the battery on this is something that I was really, really amazed at. So the older one, the older version, got I believe less than five hours. It was not that great, especially for the market these days. This one though includes a battery power of a good. Eight hours. That's nuts. It's nice. That's it's, a work of day. course, it's not as good as a MacBook Air 2013 right. uh -huh. version, but mm -hmm. this version for a Windows 8 laptop, it's pretty smooth. It's gonna last you a nice long time. No problems there. Um, also, I should mention the trackpad on this. The model that I received had an old driver for the trackpad. I have a problem with things in Windows 8 where it's like inverse. I, I hate inverse scrolling. It drives right. me nuts. So I had to download a brand new driver on here. Uh, there was no easy way to get that get to that on this Acer laptop, so I had to go to their website and download a new driver. I don't think that's necessarily an Acer fault. I think it's just a Windows 8 issue. So any issues that I had software related, they, they were all things that I can customize in Windows 8 anyway. Mm -hmm. So once I got it updated though, I was able to use the trackpad with no problems. It's nice and fluid, very easy to use, and I can use all those multi-touch gestures. I can use the four finger touch, somewhere. <laughs> the scroll. Oh, there we go. 
Awesome. So I can use all the different um, multi-gestures on there. Really easy to use. Now, other than the, uh, the CPU in here, it also has a Intel HD 4400 graphics. It's got eight gigs of RAM, really nice. The 1080 IPS screen, of course. Uh, the battery is amazing. The solid state storage with the RAID 0 setup and then the webcam on the top. It also has a couple of speakers on the bottom right here. These are Dolby speakers. Mm. I noticed whenever I'm sitting this on my lap and just typing away, the speakers don't sound that loud. They're very, very quiet. But when I do open it up and I put it on a solid surface like my desk, it gets a lot louder because you're getting that, you're getting that flat surface to make the sound go up and out oh, instead yeah. of just straight down. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's something noticeable. Also, the fans are a lot quieter in this new model than last year's model. And they switched around the power button. So it's on the side instead of up here on the front. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, so you're not going to accidentally press it or something yeah. like that, which was a big problem with last year's model. Now, let's go ahead and get into my pros and cons. So my pros with this, it's great battery life. I love that it's eight hours of battery life. It's very lightweight at under three pounds, and it's got this excellent display. I absolutely love the display on this thing. I totally want to steal it. What kind it. of display was it? It's, a, um, it's IPS 1080, IPS, okay. 1080p, okay. yeah, full HD, so very, very pretty. And not bad for a 13-inch machine either, yeah. so it's pretty it good. It makes it look more sharper with the yeah. more screen, right? Yeah. So. Now, they do sell a, a version of this outside the U.S., and mm -hmm. it's a, it has a much better resolution on it, surprisingly. It's like, uh, I don't remember the exact specs on it, but it is a higher resolution outside of the U.S. And my cons... Uh, the power brick on this thing is huge. I didn't bring it out here with me, but it's it's this big white thing that you have to plug in straight into your power supply. And unfortunately, it's not like a small one like this one, where it's just one t teeny tiny cord with a three-prong little connector at the end. So does it hang it's a on huge the, brick. Does it actually hang on the outlet? Yeah. You know, it does. It like hangs the on the outlet. hangs on the outlet. Yeah. It's not and it's kind of wood. heavy. Oh, <laughs> it adds okay. like a pound. It's terrible. So how's that possible? <laughs> like if there's going to be a brick... I know. You know I yeah, mean, you like, basically oh, have to here. move all well. your plugs around to be able to plug it in. So yeah. it's kind of annoying, but, you know, it's not a horrendous issue with it. And then the other con that I had was the quieter speakers. They aren't that loud, but that's something that you're going to have to cope with hmm. with an Ultrabook. Um, unfortunately, with this one, you do have to cope with that. So if I would give this a buy, try, or don't buy, I would have to say buy. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's one of my favorite laptops on the market, or Ultrabooks. I absolutely love the thing. I think that the specs are really, really nice. And uh, personally, I will probably buy my own if I don't get to keep this one, which I probably don't get to because I always have to <laughs> ship the cool stuff back. Oh. Now, How much RAM was on that thing? Eight gigs. Eight gigabytes. Yeah, eight gigabytes of RAM. On that form factor, that's yeah. nuts. It's not bad. No wonder yeah. it's so fast. It's so pretty. <laughs> yeah. It's my baby. That form factor and that... That weight I bite hardware. completely like missed off the mark on. You can find out more about this fantastic offer by clicking the link in the description.